Good morning. Today, we gather to honor the knights of Buckingham Palace, the most feared and respected knights in all the realm. Now, I know what you're thinking. The same thought crossed my mind three years ago when I first joined these knights. From what I heard about them, I thought they'd be bigger. I remember thinking, how could knights with such extraordinary talents and accomplishments appear so human, so normal, so ordinary? Common, average. So what opposed them? I could go on and what is more important is over the last three years, my question has been answered again and again. These knights are not written into legend because of their superior strength or size. No, but rather for their passion for their commitments, their fearlessness on the field, their dedication to the life of the mind, and their unwavering kindness, friendship, and service to others. It was during my first month here, while walking past the Palace Theater, that I met the knight we all know as Sir Kendrick Terrell Evans. <laughs> he has been the face of the Buckingham players. There is no role too small, and certainly no role too big for Sir Kendrick. To command the spotlight taxes any mortal man, but Sir Kendrick has won the stage again and again. Undaunted by the pressures of performing, he has played the fool as well as the hero. He's played both as a simple as a treasure oh, and in any one of the voices, and as complex as Boom Boom the Drag Queen and Execution of Justice. <laughs> From watching him on stage, to wonder, could I unleash my energy? Some of you may recall my role as, yeah, but you must have you can from the land of the astronauts. <laughs> that again, probably not. But, Sir Kendrick's dedication to the stage and his own excellence showed all of us that when you are truly committed to what you believe in, you can take great risks, and in a very real sense, never fail. Because success lies in doing what you love, and doing it with passion. Following my introduction to Sir Kendrick, I began to notice the many different talents stated in the hallowed halls of Buckingham Palace. I met the famous portrait artist, Lady Karen, of Sue, whose prize winning sketches in the Kingdom of were held as masterpieces by all who saw them. I was captivated by the pure harmonies and tender notes of the fair voices of the night, led by the unassuming yet soothing and sublime Lady Andrea of Resident. <laughs> I spent hours carefully reading the powerful columns of the Vanguard and the inspired work okay. of Lady Editor in Chief, Kathleen Oshima. And let me not forget our master craftsman, Sir Charles of Norfolk. Now there's a knight who builds a great and powerful blade. In the force of big wise fashion spears capable of killing brutal and vicious beasts. Today, he builds thrones fit for kings and violins worthy of maestros. These knights have transformed this kingdom because of their passion for the creative life. But the knights of the long rectangular cafeteria tables are also warriors proud and strong. On the fields of battle, we have fought the men from Belmont. We've exchanged mm -hmm. strokes with the women from winter. The battles have been long, they've been hard, but out of the turmoil, leaders have been born. Sir McCaffrey, Sir Joseph, Sir King of Kelly, Lady Hoffman, Lady Tang, Sir Alex of Barks, Lady Lady, <laughs> Lady Frank Gulex, Sir Quint of Trump. And let us not forget the man with the mightiest rapier of all, Sir Mark of Borland, master swordsman of Buckingham Hall. These are but a few of our many types of events, but this much is clear. This kingdom, this kingdom has been defended and honored by each and every one of these knights. However, there is one among us who stands over us all. Sir Papa Giannopoulos. Very true. Very true. Very true. Very true. Sir, the mere, the mere sound of his name, Sir Papa, Papa, he has rendered men motionless with a mere sideways glance. Needless to say, yeah. when I was first introduced to this title, I was terrified. <laughs> but my fears were unwarranted. He was no more dangerous than my Chinese fighting fish. But nonetheless, in kind, Sir Papa Giannopoulos stands for what is right. This knight is a gentleman who befriended me and who rarely speaks of himself even though his accomplishments are far superior than my own. He's a true warrior. While Buckingham's prowess in the fields of battle is known throughout the land, it is its scholarly pursuits that attracts knights from far and wide. 
knights such as Whitney Kingston and Lady Wang have distinguished themselves as elite scientists and mathematicians. Sir Brooke Seiler and Lady Berkowitz have stunned readers with their personal essays, winning nationally coveted gold and silvers in the scholastic art and writing competition. It is said that Sir Oppenheimer has distinguished the chromosomal differences between the sex determining traits of the male and female turtle. <laughs> Zach shows what it means to be a nun. 